thing. I've never seen this before. Our lioness has just picked up an ostrich egg off the ground. Now, typically, the nests are guarded, so there's a good chance that this is actually uh, an abandoned ostrich egg or one that was never destined to make it. But still, this is really quite incredible. She's wandering off with her mouth. She looks like a Labrador with about five tennis balls. Her mouth is so stuffed full of ostrich egg. This is really cool. You don't often get to see this. Uh, if it, I, I would suspect that if this, if this ostrich egg came from an active nest, you would see either the male or the female around, and they'd be very distressed and very upset, and I don't see any sign of that. So that's even better, because it means we're getting to enjoy the sighting without the fact that a, an, an ostrich has lost its egg. I think that egg was lost already. Let's catch up with her, because I want to be there when she breaks it. Ostrich eggs are really hard, obviously. <laughs> and water is wet. No, what I mean by that is the shell is hard enough to support the weight of a human standing on it. I stood on one when I was a child because I didn't believe the guy when he told it to me. And it does. Ah, oh, she's going to go into this rocky area. I can just sense it. I do want to see where she goes, though. And I really want to see when she cracks the egg. We must make sure as soon as she stops, we've got our ambient mic right up. Paula, you say breakfast for dinner. Best kind of dinner. Everybody loves breakfast for dinner. Actually, I could do with that tonight. An egg. Stop quickly, but we're in really big trouble now. Really big trouble. Jamie has taken the worst possible route into a rocky outcrop. So we're just going to look at her quickly, and then I'm going to have to go around somehow. Okay, let's go. How am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna have to go around that way. Whoops. Hmm? Ah, yes, there we go. Ferg has found a way. I was gonna go around the other way, but I think Ferg's way is infinitely better. Hold on though, because the rocks might be hidden in the grass. Looks clear. There's a rock. There's a rock. Wait, Linus, wait! Don't eat your breakfast without me. Oh! I can't go too fast or I'll smash a diff on the rocks. Oh, here's some major big rocks. Just hold on. This is gonna be fun. Hold on, everybody. I'm gonna hit the, my tow bar is gonna hit it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. Uh oh. No! Great, thanks, Biggs. <laughs> Sure, you say all the lioness needs is a warthog, but she can have bacon and eggs. Sorry, Keto. Absolutely. Here we go. Yes, thanks, Ferg. That was almost a disaster as I planted our diff flock on, the, on a rock. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, no, she's dropped her egg. Oh. I wonder if it was rotten. Did a bit further, got you. Ah, I see, I see. I'm gonna go past this car and then we can stop. She's coming. She'll come. It'll be worth it. I can't believe you left your egg. Why would you leave your eggy? Oh, no. You're going to come right across in front of us. Oh, hold on. Beautiful. What we're aiming for is 
her walking straight in front of the sun, being watched by a pair of buffalo, actually, as well. Ah. Nice. So pretty. I wonder why she didn't eat that egg. It obviously wasn't very good. Because she definitely didn't eat it in the time that we that we spent with her. Or weren't spending with her, that is. Here she go, goes golden. Out here in the Mara, it's not just every cloud that has a silver lining. The lions have them as well. I know you, lioness. Of course, evening, no matter where you are, whether you are in South Africa or in the Maasai Mara, is always gorgeous. And nothing looks more beautiful than a big cat in golden light.